Item number SCP-369 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-369 is to be monitored by time-lapse camera feed to be reviewed for anomalous behavior every 24 hours. Motion-sensitive perimeter alert devices should be placed at the borders of SCP-369 each time it relocates, with at least three Level 1 personnel nearby to behave as a semi-active construction crew when under observation. Personnel are to avoid directly observing SCP-369 when no other potential observers are present, though indirect viewing through video or even mirrors has no effect, allowing SCP-369 to continue as normal. Under no circumstances should actual construction work be attempted on SCP-369, nor should the equipment around it be used. Upon loss of contact with SCP-369 when its task is finished, site monitoring should be repackaged and ready for transit to a new location. Once 24 hours has passed, all roads within 75 km or 46.6 miles should be examined for construction work not matching work schedules of the regional government. Only paid roads are to be examined, beginning with sections of road with comparatively lower usage. Description. SCP-369 is a migratory road construction zone, which repairs stretches of road left unattended by repair crews. It generates non-functional look-alikes of several essential road construction vehicles, of note being a small steamroller and an earth mover, the latter being anything from a bobcat to a backhoe. The traffic cones present at the border of the effect are actual traffic cones, lacking any serial numbers or manufacturer's mark and always appear to have been in use for at least a few years. If removed from the site, the cones vanish when unobserved. The machines cannot be used or maintained, and testing has shown it unwise to try. The repair process takes up to four days, as the road undergoes a semi-organic healing process when not directly observed, resulting in mundane yet professional quality patches made to the pavement. No special properties have been observed in the stretches of road already visited by SCP-369. They resume weathering and wearing down as any normal road as soon as SCP-369 is not present. Tests with construction on and attempted disruption of SCP-369 have resulted every time with the subject being covered in liquid tar and until the bones and inorganic hard materials were ejected onto the roadside. Effect seems limited to paved United States roadways, and no line repainting is done. Addendum. Attempts by Level 2 research staff to redirect SCP-369 to specific roadwork locations have been so far unsuccessful, though some progress has been made in trying to identify potential targets in advance.